And hello, everybody. Thanks, Michael. And welcome here <laughs> to uh, our YWC predictions video for the next upcoming pay per view. It's WrestleMania! And we're going to get set here to go through this extremely long card. There's at least 12 matches here, 10 on the main card, uh, 2 on the kickoff show. Uh, of course, Kyle Matthews, Michael Norman, Trent Dunham, and myself going to be giving you verbally our picks. You'll be able to check down in the description see what other people have predicted that are associated with YWC. We are. I'm sleepy. You are, obviously. You're, <laughs> you're Yo, I want to... I, I, I... On a bit of an unrelated note, I want to ask Trent this. Trent, what about that episode of The Walking Dead? This does haven't had anything I'll to do speak with to you on, I'll, I'll speak to you on that later, Michael. Okay, anyway, for people that don't know, uh, we all are coming into this not as the champion. The champion's not here. It's actually Chris Dollerton, who actually won the championship at Fastlane last, uh, last pay-per-view. What was it, Michael? Was it eight and O he went, or nine and O in his predictions, or something? I think it was eight, eight. I think it was eight and one. Yeah, he predicted every eight matchup one. correctly, and uh, so he is the champ. So we're gonna try and take the belt from him, hopefully, uh, here at Mania. So we're gonna get right into it because it's a long card, as I said. Let's start with the two uh, matchups that are on the kickoff show. First off is an interpromotional Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We've got names and Why is that always on the pre-show? That's in the pre-show. It's not, not always. Two of the four, two time. of the four years have been on the pre-show. No, it was yeah. it was on the main card last year and at thirty, but the but thirty-one it was on the pre-show. And that was the one that Cesaro oh, wow. won. At I didn't even know Cesaro won the first match one on the, at thirty. I didn't even know then that the match was on the pre-show. Then the big show and then Corbin, right? I think, yeah. Yep. So we know uh, some of the names that are going to be in this. Uh, Battle Royal include The Big Show, Braun Strowman, Sami Zayn. We could probably fill in the rest with other people. I mean, probably The Golden Truth are going to be in it. Probably The Shining Stars. You know, probably a whole bunch of jobbers. So anyway, regardless of... Jobbers. Bo Dallas is going to be in it, I Bo think. Dallas, I mean, yeah. we saw what happened on Monday. Yep, Bo Dallas is going to be Curtis in Axel it. Curtis Axel last Axel. night. I didn't know he was... Yeah. Who... Uh, Someone, yeah, someone said I think yeah, I think I think it's pretty I think it's pretty obvious who's gonna win that match. It's pretty obvious. Yep. Who? Okay, so we're gonna Bron, we're gonna we're gonna Bron Strowman. Yeah, Trent, who who do, who do you have winning that? Since you say it's Bron obvious, Strowman, you're going with Strowman. All right, Michael, Bron who are you Strowman. going with? Do we? Why? Okay, so it's in the Battle Battle Royal. So why are we only getting one pick? Uh, because there's only one winner of Battle Royal. So yeah. How many? Uh, how many yeah, superstars are even in it? We should we should get at least three picks, like, like we would for the Royal Rumble. You know, our, our pick to win, a possible dark horse, and then just another one for backup. Uh, well, we don't know like, like like who's all in it. Yeah. For one thing. Like the only people that I think are confirmed in it are Show Strowman and Zayn. I don't know if anybody else announced that they were going to be in it or not. So let's. I'm going to so that I'm going to. Oh, Joe. Joe uh, Raleigh. Uh, Oh, Joe Raleigh. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's gonna be in there. What if Zack Ryder comes what, back? Which 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 NXT superstar is gonna be in? Zack Ryder. Um, um, Zack Ryder's not gonna be there. He injured his neck. He's not gonna make it back in time for Mania. Oh. What? All right. What? What? He has a what neck. Which NXT superstar is gonna be in the in the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal this year? Uh, how about Ty Dillinger? That would be. Yes. He's the only one I can yes. think of. I mean, he was in the Royal Rumble. I could so see happening. Not? That would be perfect. Ty Dillon, Ty Dillon, Jerry up. I, so, I, but I'm still gonna go with Braun Strowman. Kyle, who are you gonna go with? If we're going with just one pick, I mean, I, I wish I could make this interesting, but Strowman's the smart money there. If I Strowman? had, if I, uh, uh, if I had to, if I had to pick one dark horse for that match, I, I'd say Eric Rowan. I mean, he is, um, cleared to return, so I don't know. That's but true. he might uh he might return for the he might return for the Wyatt Orton match so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah it's pretty it's pretty the, obvious one of the it's last pretty four. obvious that, <laughs> it's pretty obvious that Strowman is gonna win that match because why wouldn't he? I mean I'm I, I mean he's over right now and Big Show he's just there through the battle and, and plus and plus he's already won it they're not gonna make him win it again. No. They're not gonna make him win it again. Besides it, it 
I mean, unless, of course, this really is Big Show's last match, but because the whole Shaq thing didn't go through, yeah, exactly. who knows what's going to yeah, happen now. Yeah, out, Yeah, I, I think I'm, gonna, I'm agreeing with you guys as well. I think Strowman's going to win the thing. I think, though, it may come down instead of between uh, Big Show and Strowman at the end. I think it could possibly come down between Strowman and Sami Zayn. Just, just cause. You yeah, know, they're gonna be, they're gonna be the final. They're gonna yeah. be the final two. I mean, they, they've had such a history with each other. I mean, I know we kept seeing them, you know, battling week after week on Raw. But you know, the fact that the two of them have had more matchups against each other than Big Show and uh, Strowman have, I think those two would be the ones that would put on a, a good finish for the Royal, battle Royal. But I think Strowman's gonna win it. So now we move to the Time next matchup on the kickoff show, and that's the Cruiserweight Championship, which uh, before we Austin went... Aries. <laughs> Austin Aries. Austin Aries. Obvious. Obvious. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, so ne- Neville <laughs> a du- defended a against double. Austin Aries, so everybody's going with Austin Aries. I'm going to go with Austin Aries, too, of course. It, I, I think, actually, I, I, this was... Watch, the, watch one, one person out of all of us that are thinking this. It's going to go with Neville, and Neville's going to win, and we're going to find ourselves a point behind. The thing that I yep. don't like, though, is because I think this is going to be match of the night, and it's on the kickoff show. But um, regardless, there you have it. This is like the this is this is like the first cruiserweight match that I'm actually excited about. Nothing against the cruiserweight. The build, the build for this match has been really good. Neville versus Jack That's Gallagher cool. I- was okay, but they put it together really quickly, I thought. There wasn't the proper build up yeah. time, like you said. Aries versus Neville, you're right. They have built that one up really well. Uh, let's go now to the main card. We've got a Raw Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Match. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson defending against Enzo Amore and Big Cass and Cesaro and Sheamus. We'll start with Kyle. Who do you have and why? How you uh, doing, Enzo and Cass? That's, All right, Michael, who are you going with? Time. I'm going with Enzo and Cass only because out of those three, they're the only ones who have not won a tag team championship yet. Yep. Okay, Trent. Enzo and Cass for, for the same reason, obviously, but I don't know. That's kind of tough one to pick. I yeah. want to pick Enzo and Cass just because, like, like, like Michael said, they they they've yet to win a championship. And Gallows and Anderson, they've been the tag team champions for like a couple of weeks now, going on a, a probably like almost two months. But but I have a feeling that Gallows and Anderson are gonna put Enzo and Cass over, and plus and plus to expect the the Raw after WrestleMania, you know they're gonna try to do something big. So so yeah, I'm gonna give it to Enzo and Cass for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you on that as well because uh, it was it was actually gonna come down for me between Enzo and Cass winning or Gallows and Anderson retaining because uh, a lot of rumors are that Sheamus and Cesaro are gonna get split up. Uh, pretty shortly, so I don't see them winning the tag team title belts back. So I'm going to go with Enzo and Cass as well. Now, we've been pretty much saying the same people. This is where we may end up splitting up because SmackDown Women's Championship on the line, Alexa Bliss versus all available women on the SmackDown roster. Now, we've heard rumors Naomi is coming back. Natalia. Natalia is going to be in it. We know that uh, Carmella is going to be in it. Uh, I'm not sure if Nikki Bella is actually going to take part in this, and she's got a matchup later on no. that evening. So, so Nikki's not in I don't there. See, I don't see her doing it. Okay, but we've got Natalia we've got has yet to be. A, she was She wasn't even on the. Like, you know how to do little promo matchup pictures. She right. wasn't even on that. Okay, so so, so we, that she's there's up. there's also been rumors that people have been contacted, like Victoria, to come back. Maria's been contacted to possibly come back. Kelly Kelly has been contacted to come back. Stealing. Wait, Steve, like, why well, Kelly, Kelly, ideas? Well, <laughs> exactly. Kelly, um, um, Kelly, Kelly already resigned with the company, I think. Right, I she already signed like a three-year deal or something. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, and Maria Kanellis and Mike Bennett are going to NXT right after WrestleMania. Doesn't mean that she, yeah, doesn't, so, doesn't mean that yes, she might not show up for that, though. Um, and then we've also another, heard that, Another rumor is... Uh, yeah, go ahead, Kyle. I think you're going to say what I was going to say. Um, um, yeah, uh, Summer Rae and Emma, yep. who are... Or on Raw, you would never know that they're on Raw, except for Emma, a little bit. But yeah, they've even been rumored to be in this match for the SmackDown Women's Title, which is interesting. Yeah, Emma hasn't been over since she was paired with Santino. Uh, well, she was starting to get over she was, last year, and then she got hurt. Yeah, when they had that that duo of herself and um, yeah, my, I just Dana escaped. Brooke. Dana Brooke, thank you. It, that that started actually. I think Emma started going over a little bit there, but. Uh, 
we also know, uh, I think, a couple other people that I didn't mention. Uh, Becky Lynch, Mickey James, they're also going to be in the matchup. So, who do you guys have and why? We'll start with Michael. Who are you going with in this? And This is a very tough situation. I know. This is where it's all going to split up, I think. I mean, here, here's what's going to happen, in my opinion. And I have two outcomes, and you can mark me down for both of them. I say that if Naomi does indeed return, Which she then they're going to give her the be- then sh- then they're going to give her the belt back, mainly because it's in Orlando and she was she had to give it up because of injury. If she doesn't come back, then I'm going to say Alexa Bliss because they've had uh, they've had numerous matches like <laughs> kind of like this, hence AJ Lee and uh, what's her name uh, what's her name from back at like WrestleMania 25. Where you'd, you'd battle all the other all women ever, and you'd still come out on top. So I, I I'm gonna follow with that logic and say, if Naomi does not return, then it's gonna stay on Alexa Bliss. Okay, uh, Trent, who have you got? Yeah, I know who I'm gonna pick. <laughs> she, 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 she has yet to win a cha- she's yet to win a, a championship in like the last like few years. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta pick. Natalia, this is going to be her WrestleMania to oh, finally get a, oh, get a title. We'll see about that. Even, even, uh, even, uh, even if Naomi do, does come back or not, I'm picking Natalia both ways. This okay. is her WrestleMania. All right. Uh, Kyle, who have you got? This has all the looks of one of those situations where they try to stack the odds heavily against a heel champion. They're thinking... Make people think, oh, this is going to be, you know, this is finally going to be the time where the heel is going to drop the title, and the heel is going to overcome the odds. I really think Alexa's going to retain. Okay. Um, I want to go out on a limb. Because want, we saw I that at uh, WrestleMania. Just because I, th- I think this is where it's all splitting up. Uh, because didn't, didn't didn't they do the same thing with um, AJ Lee at WrestleMania 30? They had her defend the belt against like everybody, and she somehow yeah, overcame think, the odds it, and did it. Wasn't it like Vicky Guerrero yeah, put she her retained. in a matchup like that or something, and she was able to retain it? Yeah. So this yeah, she retained this it. This has all the looks. Of, this has all the looks of that. I should also throw out another name that's also going to be in there, and that's Tamina Snuka. She's going to be coming back too, from what I've heard. Um, about time. I am going to go out on a limb. I am going to say Mickey James is going to win, basically mm-hmm. because no, you've, you've no, got no. you've got basically the next pay per view that'll be coming up is going to be the WrestleMania Fallout, where I think you're then going to see Alexa Bliss and Mickey James take the feud that's been building over the past couple of weeks come to a head with the title on the line. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say Mickey James for two reasons: one, for the reason I just said, and two because. I don't want to pick who you guys pick, so that way hopefully we split up and have somebody get a point and take the lead in this predictions thing. So Mickey James is only there to put people over. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure about well, that. Well, she but, could she could get the title on. She could get the title and then put somebody over. You yeah, know, to exactly. get on the title. Yeah, you know? I mean, I I don't know if if I she's don't... just there to put people over. Why does she have certain victories? would be my question. I mean, she's got a pinfall victory over, uh, I think it was Alexa Bliss, wasn't it? So, you know, why do that? That that doesn't make sense to me if you're not going to, in some way, use Mickey James to possibly be in a title picture, I would think. So, you know, that's just my opinion, and hopefully it splits up the, the results, as I said. All right, next up, we go to the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown. Dean Ambrose, the champion, versus Baron Corbin. Why this isn't a falls count anywhere or something like that with everything that's been going on between the two, I don't know. But we're going to start with, since uh, a fellow Ohioan is in this matchup, we'll start with Kyle. Who do you have and why? (laughs) Oh, it kills me to do this because I love Dean Ambrose, but it's has all the looks of Baron Corbin getting it. Okay. Uh, Michael, who have you got? Which one is this? Ambrose versus Corbin. I they're in a kind of a title match between oh, Ambrose Baron and Corbin. 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 All right. Trent, who have you got? Obviously, Baron Corbin. He's like the, he's like the second best heel on SmackDown right now, so... Okay. Yeah, and and this is gonna be uh, his resume. Even though, even though he won the um, he won the Andre the Giant um 
battle royal last year, and they pretty much um they, they pretty much stated that fact over like the last year. So, so yeah, I, I really think he's gonna add the intercontinental title to his record. Yep. And Ambrose is gonna drop the title of the Corp. Yep, I agree. I'm going with Corp. And besides, as well. and besides, I think this is um, and uh, one more thing. Since um, since Ambrose got the um IC title from Miz, what has he done with it? Not nothing. Much. Not much. Exactly. Nothing. He's done um, nothing he de- with it from the Miz. He defended it against uh, AJ Styles at a SmackDown house show that I went to back in January. That's that a house counts. show. That's not televised. <laughs> I'm gonna go with yeah, Baron house, Corbin yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, house, so. house shows don't count. Yep. So everybody's going. House shows only count this. if the title change hands, which they seldom do. Uh, all yeah. right. Next up, they, we go to early. the uh, the Raw United States Championship match. Chris Jericho defending against Kevin Owens. I'm gonna go first on this one. I guess. Kevin Owens. Shut up! Kevin I'm going Owens, first. Cause... I didn't hear that. Michael didn't give his prediction <laughs> yet. Uh, I'm going with Kevin Owens. For two reasons. One, because Chris Jericho Ooh, is rumored big to be... surprise. Well, hold big on. Shocker. Let me give my reasonings here. Number one, Chris Jericho is rumored to be going back on tour with his band Fozzie. Number two, this takes Kevin Owens Obviously. out of the picture of using his championship rematch against either Goldberg or Lesnar. We'll get to that later on of who wins the uh, universal title. If he has the United States Championship, then more than likely they're going to kind of just kind of sweep the fact he has a title rematch for the Universal Championship under the rug, and that way we end up having later on, and we'll we'll get into this later on, um, either Lesnar or Goldberg be able to have the title heading into um, post WrestleMania. So now, Michael, who do you have? <laughs> I have Kevin Owens for because Chris Jericho is leaving in a month. <laughs> Actually, you know what they My said? Yeah. Yeah. They Kevin Owens. Say wow, we had I had we, we didn't see that coming at all. No, not at all. You know, actually, I have heard though that, that uh, they've been saying that um, Chris Jericho's tour, they could put it around where he wouldn't actually have to tour on Mondays and he could show up for Raw each week. But regardless, uh, Trent, who have oh, you got? Kevin Owens, obviously, because like I said, Jericho's gonna back. Um, he's gonna uh, be on tour with Fozzie, and he's gonna take his list with him. So I'm going with Owens. And plus, and plus, he pretty he pretty much got squashed by Goldberg at one of the worst pay per views of the year. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, Kyle, who have you got? If Jericho wasn't uh, going on tour, I would say Jericho. But it's yeah, this has Kevin Owens getting it. It's all. It's. I think it's pretty easy. Alrighty. It's nice. Um. So far, so far, WrestleMania is getting pretty predictable. Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> predictable. Predictable. And before, and before, like we're we're. You heard that right? Predictable, point. not predictable. Predictable because because it's like Predict. it's like so uh, it's like so obvious right now. Pretty much. Like who's gonna win these matches? Well, here we go to one that might actually split it up again. I don't know what it is with the women's matchups seeming to be the ones that are the hardest ones to predict. But we've got a Raw Women's Championship Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. Bayley comes in as the champion against Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, and Nia Jax. Trent, we're going to start with now, you. Now, this one I don't know. Who do you have Of course, of course, one? of course I'm going first for the <laughs> one match that I'm not sure about. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean... Uh, I really, I really, really don't want Charlotte to win because she because she's such a boring champion. Sasha Banks winning, uh, I'm not sure. Part of me wants Bailey to retain, but the other half of me wants Nia Jax to win because she's actually dominant on the Raw Women's roster. So I'm kind of split between Bailey and Nia Jax. I mean, I mean, if they, uh, I mean. What what I think is gonna happen is that they're gonna turn Sasha Banks heel. She's gonna turn on Bailey if she doesn't get the title, or 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 if Bailey retains, then Sasha's gonna turn on Bailey, turn heel. But if Nia Jax, regardless, what yeah, you I know, think, I know, regardless of what's gonna happen, uh, I'm not sure. I'm I, I'm torn between Bailey and Nia uh, and um, Nia Jax. But if it comes down to it, then I say ba- uh, Bailey retains it. Okay, uh, Michael, who you got? It'll set up. It'll set up a heel turn for Sasha Banks if she chooses to. Well, 
honestly, Bailey, I could see them keeping it on Bailey because it'd be a good pop because she too is from Orlando, even or lives in Orlando, even though she's from San Jose. But uh, if, if they if they don't give it to Bailey, I would really want them to give it to to Nia Jax because she I think is she's on a great run as a yeah. monstrous woman. <laughs> so. I think they would at least give it to Nia. She's like a she's like a dark skinned Beth Phoenix. Yeah, with a little more with a little more weight to her. All right, Kyle, what you got? She's not like. She's not I like. I say no. Bailey ret- I say Bailey retains, and then after the match, Bailey goes to celebrate. It looks like Sasha's going to celebrate with her, and she's going to attack her or something. That's going to set up the next feud for the women's title. Okay, I'm going to actually go with Nia Jax on this one because I think Bailey's going to turn on, uh, or not Bailey, uh, Sasha's going to turn on Bailey in the matchup and actually eliminate Bailey. So I think that's where you're going to see the heel turn. I think Nia Jax is going to end up winning um, the match. And is the match, we'll see where it goes um, Seth, Seth, I don't mean to cut you off. I don't. Um, that I don't mean to cut you. Is um 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 is it is it single elimination or is it like or is it like pin file one two three? Like, uh, single elimination. Single elimination. Okay. Yeah, okay. So each one. Once again, okay. stealing YWC's ideas. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if it would really be much of a heel turn if Sasha were to eliminate Bailey in that match because in a fatal four way it's everybody for themselves. So it no, I'm saying no, 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 I'm saying. If, I'm saying I'm saying uh, Sasha turns heel like after like after Bailey retains. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, let's move on to a SmackDown matchup. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. Oh, man, I can't possibly oh. think of who you guys uh, might choose for this one. Let's start I'll with Kyle. You, I'll tell you this now. Hold on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I tell you this now. I I am the only reason I am gonna enjoy that match is because it's gonna be great to see uh, Maurice wrestle again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is a this is a fresh match. I don't think we've never Maurice seen anything the, like this. I like the I yeah, like that we're seeing Maurice John Cena and Nikki Bella. WWE. I like that we're seeing John Cena and Nikki Bella actually working together because we've known that they've been together for several years, but we've never, at least I don't remember ever seeing them acknowledge that on like Raw or SmackDown or anything like that. So it's kind of cool that they're, you know, working together now. I'm going to say John Cena, Nikki Bell in, in this one. This, this one's a toss up though. Okay. Uh, Michael, uh, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to go as much as I would love to see the Miz go over on, uh, uh, I would love to see the Miz go over on John Cena for the second for a second WrestleMania. I'm going to have to unfortunately give this to John Cena and Nikki Bella, mainly because of all the rumors of this being Nikki Bella's retirement match. Mm. Okay, Trent, who you got? Uh, well, 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 because that this might be Nikki's retirement match and John Cena, like, like once, like once he finishes this he's gonna be gone for a few more months so uh i really really don't want cena and nikki to win I this match i really want i i really want Miz and maurice to go over i really want them to because because this this is maurice's first match since she got released i'm trying to um remember what year she got released i think it was 2011 or 2010 i'm not sure I'm around there, but anyway yeah. uh uh, and you guys, uh, and you guys know me. I I hate John Cena. Fuck boy, Buckethead. <laughs> uh, I cannot stand him. Um, uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna um um, I'm gonna divide everyone's picks. I'm gonna say Miz and Maurice go over. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna go with I John Cena it. and Nikki Bella it, because you know if it were. Any other place, maybe Miz and Maurice would have a chance of getting a victory, but and besides, it's WrestleMania, so I think I think it's gonna be seen in. Nikki and besides, Bella. other than yeah, other than, other than WrestleMania, um, other than WrestleMania twenty nine, wait, 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 was it twenty nine or twenty? No, what, no, no, wait, wait, twenty eight, twenty eight, twenty eight. Other other than WrestleMania twenty eight, when's the last time Cena lost at WrestleMania? To the Miz. What? The last time, the the last time John Cena that lost. That was twenty eight. That was twenty eight. Yeah. Did, Other than that, no, he faced he faced the Rock he, at twenty eight. He, he lost to the Rock. Yeah, he, he lost. lost. Okay, let's see. He yeah. Won it, he won at twenty nine against the Rock. 
He won at 30. He lost. He lost 30. at 28, and then he lost at 27. But before, yeah, before 27, which um, has he lost any other WrestleMania than that? Uh, that lost to the Miz, didn't he? Did, did, did he wrestle? Yeah. Or? No, he didn't wrestle. At he lost, yeah, he lost. Uh, uh, yeah, he lost to the Miz at 27, and then he lost to the Rock at 28. But other than no, those I two, I think those are the only two that he's lost. Yeah. Uh, because he yeah. was injured last year at WrestleMania, right. so he didn't have a match. He, he, he won at his first match. He game. came back and buried Bray Wyatt last hold year. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He won at 20. He won at 21. He won at 22. He won at 23. He No, he lost at 24. He lost at 24 to, in that triple threat match. Which triple threat? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, Randy, uh, won, Randy, Randy Orton, Triple H. Randy Orton won oh, that yeah, match. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember. Yeah. I remember Randy Orton won that match. So, but if yeah. we're talking so about one-on-one one one matchups, one he's he's only lost two. And yeah, he, he won at twenty-five. He won at twenty-six. He lost twenty-seven. One uh, lost twenty-eight. One twenty-nine and thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Right. Yeah. Well, no, he he didn't wrestle at thirty-two. He didn't have a match thirty-two. That's right. Yeah, he didn't wrestle. He didn't wrestle at thirty-two. At 32. He buried uh um he buried Bray Wyatt with the Rock but, at thirty-two. But if he if he would have had a match, he probably would have won anyways. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Because it's John All right. Cena. All right, next match, please. Another this Cena.